All right, good afternoon. How you doing? My name is David Bruce Dunham. I originally hail from the northeast part of Indiana, Ohio, which is, if you study your history books, uh, under the banner of the Shawnee Nation, which pretty much stretches from Ohio and uh, Indiana, most definitely where I'm from, and into the uh, eastern parts of Illinois, primarily Ohio and Indiana. Now, I am currently living in Southern California, where I work as a professional security guy, bodyguard, instructor, uh, bar cooler, and also as a current member of the Screen Actors Guild, I stay fairly busy, and part of my activities involve Kung Fu Sansu, which I have been under the instruction of Sansu Master Robert Razan for coming up on 11 years now. And um, probably one of the things I want to get off really quickly is there's been some confusion about the internet, which I am probably a little better with smoke signals than I am internet, but uh, something about Robert being the Shawnee warrior that you people are seeing and that this is one of his websites. Uh, Robert is very much a computer expert and a technical expert, most certainly in the areas of correct mechanics. And just so that we're all square here, we know that the tattoo that you have seen on the internet is actually mine and it does exist. Let's go ahead, we'll just get that out of the way straight away here. All right, just so everybody can see, okay? This is me, this is my arm. This is essentially what we would call in Indian words and language a medicine shield. This is basically a panther over a swan, and the feathers surrounded represent the tribes of man. All right, I am very much a warrior of nature, and uh, let me just say that as far as Sansu goes, the viciousness that it possesses and the no-nonsense fighting really adhere to what a true warrior is, because a true warrior doesn't seek a fight, but if a fight needs to happen, just like in nature, uh, someone, generally speaking, should pay the maximum price. And I think we're all intelligent enough to understand what the maximum price is. So uh, other than that, uh, some of the stuff on the video is me and I will be popping in every now and then and leaving a little bit of instructionals with you on uh, various uh, things that we find and do in Sansu and uh, perhaps we'll throw a little Native American music on there so you know we are legit and like I said anybody that wishes to come down probably try to get through to Robert and I would love to sit down and any ideas that would benefit us we would love to have and perhaps we can exchange information on a friendly peaceful level and uh, beyond that all I can say is uh, the uh, the things that I, I see on the internet and stuff I don't really get a whole lot of because I'm not spending a lot of time on the internet so if y'all like you can send me some smoke signals but otherwise you might as well come on down and we can you know we can uh, talk face to face like men do and I don't mean this in a way a combative way but in a way to exchange information like gentlemen and then we can perhaps avoid some of the issues on the radio or excuse me the radio see that's what I know about technical shit uh, on the internet so please uh, understand that the Shawnee uh, tattoo that you see is mine and I am the Shawnee warrior I do come from the northeast part of Indiana and my students all fall under the banner of tribal warfare or tribal war fighting uh, very soon you will see the Sansu dragon on top of my medicine shield and that will be our standard trademark and that is to show everyone that the Sansu is not only part of what tribal warfare is because of its viciousness and efficiency but that Robert Rezon is my source of Sansu and I have absolutely no doubt in his ability as I have seen him and worked with him in actual real situations before they could be life and death. Anyways, that's about all I've had to say and uh, I would just say everybody take care and best health. And uh, we'll see you soon.